New Year, New Zealand. It is now officially 2011 where you are and in some parts of the world. And these are live pictures from Auckland where New Zealanders are ringing it in in style. Well, hello from CNN London. I'm Juanita Rajpal. This is World Report. We're going to have much more on how people are celebrating the new year in locations around the world over the next 30 minutes. But first, we take you to New Zealand's neighbour, Australia, where floodwaters are still rising. 200,000 people have been forced to abandon their homes. To put the size of this catastrophe into context, the flooded area of Queensland is larger than Germany and France combined. The Australian Broadcasting Corporation's Donna Field takes us inside the flood zone. The scale of Queensland's flood disaster is overwhelming. Well, let's get the latest forecast for the region now. Ivan Cabrera as, is at the World Weather Centre with the latest on that. Ivan, hello. Manita, good to see you. It's been raining there in Queensland since September, so you can appreciate the problems there. Okay, sounds good, Ivan. Thank you very much for that. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says UN peacekeepers in Ivory Coast will defend themselves by any means necessary. Supporters of self-declared President Lord Gbagbo are threatening the opposition. They're calling for an attack on the hotel where internationally recognized President Alassane Ouattara. It seems this type of crisis in the Ivory Coast has played out so many times before right across Africa. A leader clinging to power after apparently losing an election followed by bloodshed and then international outcry. But this time, as Nkapile Mabuse reports, African leaders may not be willing to tolerate yet another president for life. 2011 is likely to ring in fresh challenges for the newly formed government in Iraq. That's because at midnight tonight, the countdown begins for U.S. military exit. And for many Iraqis, the new year brings fresh fears about security. In, the in Greece, news today that six in ten Greeks didn't pay income tax in 2008. More than five million people claimed they didn't earn enough to qualify, but there are suspicions that many were failing to report their true income. Conic Crystal Ball's dress rehearsal went well. The pressure is still on. New York is gearing up to host nearly a million partygoers tonight in Times Square. Senior correspondent Alan Chernoff is in the middle of it all, and he joins us now live. Alan. As New York struggles to recover from that blizzard earlier in the week, the Midwest of the U.S. is facing a monster storm of its own. Ivan Cabrera is at the World Weather Center with the latest on that. Hi again, Ivan. Yes, we couldn't end 2010 here with yet another blizzard, and that's what we're talking about in the U.S. Midwest. Lovely. All right, Ivan, thank you very much for that. We want to bring you some uh, late-breaking news that's coming out of the Ivory Coast. The uh, French Foreign Ministry spokesperson has confirmed to CNN that families, especially those with children, are being advised to leave Ivory Coast as soon as possible, of course. Well, we are getting closer to 2011 in Sydney, in Seoul, in Tokyo, and many more cities around the world. And CNN will be bringing you live coverage all day and night. For now, Happy New Year from London, wherever you are. World Sport is next.